In this movie, we will take a look at variables and syntax and specifically for use with Unity 3D and we'll be using the JavaScript scripting language. Now before we start, let's uh, create a new folder by right clicking in our project panel and hitting create and then folder and let's rename this one to say scripts. You can also call it code or whatever you would like. Now in the scripts folder let's right click it and say create JavaScript and if you wanted to code in any other language you could of course click C sharp or Boo script but for now let's go with JavaScript and it calls it a new behavior script let's rename this and call it my first script okay now double click it or hit the edit button to open up our editor and again this is the editor that comes with unity for Mac if you're running on Windows it will also run a default program which looks very similar to this one although the colors are slightly different here and there but you can uh, be sure that you can follow along now in scripts everything is about variables a variable is basically a piece of memory that holds information the easiest way for me to explain it is to think of a bank account every bank account has a number so that will be the name of your bank account the name of your variable but the contents of this number is how much you have in this bank account so that would be the value of your variable now let me show you exactly how that works in script say that I want to make a new variable then I type var and then the variable name would be bank account and then we need to set how much we have in our bank account so let's for example go with one thousand dollars okay now we have created a variable called bank account which holds the number one thousand if over time we wanted to increase or decrease this number we could um, add another statement and say bank account equals bank account minus one hundred we just spent one hundred dollars okay now let's look at the uh, syntax here at the end of every statement you notice that we finish with a semicolon that is in every script the same way you always finish with a semicolon so that the computer knows next thing we're doing is we're going to change something else now notice that I only typed the word var as I was creating the variable bank account there's no need to type the word var again because we already have it created it's already in memory and now we can actually play around with bank account and then for example subtract 100 now if we now wanted to know exactly how much we have in our bank account we can print that to the screen when our game is running and we can for example say print and then add these little brackets here close with a semicolon and then within the brackets type bank account now this will print to the screen what we currently have in our bank account let me save this script minimize it and then drop it on top of our floor now there's really no need to define a bank account on our floor but it just helps to have this script activated in the world by attaching it to a game object now when I run my game by hitting the play button you can see down here on the bottom it says 900 in my console window because this is what I just printed out when I double click this it will bring up your script as well as a console window and the console window shows us all the print commands we've given which is only one right now and it shows us the line in the script where this command comes from now of course 900 is logical because we've subtracted 100 from our bank account so we only have 900 left of course you can do a lot more with variables than only numbers you can also define strings which are pieces of characters or text by going var my text equals and then within double quotes type your text we can also define what is called a float my float and this is also a number for example 100 but now we add a dot zero zero so it allows for decimals now most of the variables you probably use in game designs are float when we move around in 3d space we usually don't have whole numbers but very small numbers 
so that is why floats are mostly used in games. Now there's a couple more variables but it will only make it complicated for now so let's just move on and let me show you how to string lines and commands together in what are called functions.